Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. My name is Quinquin and today we're going to talk a bit about 206012GB, specifically how to lower your wattage to get a much better efficiency but still get the same mega hash as in for example f hash. Um, I think this, uh, I've seen this work on Octopus algorithm as well, um, but also uh, as you move towards more power hungry algorithm you need to be worried about like how much you do this. Um, it varies uh, between graphics cards and also, of course, what algorithm. So what we're going to do is what I think you call in HiveOS absolute core clock. Uh, but here, instead on MSI Afterburner, I'm going to lock the core clock. Um, you can also do this with, um, I think it's called uh, flattening, flattening out the, the, the core curve, um, which basically acts the same way. Um, but basically the thing we're doing here is changing this number to something we want and something we desire which is lower than what it's uh, supposed to be when you're running the GPU normally. Uh, I would not do this uh, on for example the PC I'm gaming with, um, but although I have actually done it with the PC I'm gaming with. The reason being, um, it's uh, basically you are, you're kind of nerfing your card, you won't be, ha be having the same uh, performance as you would be uh, without doing this. Basically how, how, I, how I do it is I have one profile here with my gaming settings and here I have one for of course nice hash. Um, okay, so here you see what we are going to work towards, what I'm going to show you how to get. Um, these settings, they're simple, uh, pretty much anyone who knows how to use MSI Afterburn knows how to do them. You just drag these like, oh we want this one at 67, we want this one at 65, we want this one at plus 1300, um, and so on. Um, but what we're going to do is here, um, I've been able to get about 36 to 37 mega hashes doing this um, at about 95 wattage. I can't show you here now because of course I am uh, um, both using this card as uh, on my display. On Rise we will be getting higher um, mega hashes of course. I think I was able to do a bit more memory clock on Riser. But now I'm using this as my display card in my main PC and therefore I have a bit lower memory clock than uh, I would have um, using this in a rig. Basically here we have the core clock. Usually um, we can reset everything here uh, just to show you how it's supposed to look. This is how it looks normally. So to begin with, we do these, uh, just to whatever we want them to be. Um, I think I had them all on like, feels like that probably. Um, wait, um, actually I need to check what it was on, 67, 65. Okay, so default, 67, 65, there we go. And then this one on 1300, there we go. Um, need to remember to enter. Um, and then what we're doing here now is gonna, we're going to go over to the curve editor. Um, I believe this would be called in MSI Afterburner um, core, uh, core clock lock or locking absolute core clock. But in Hive OS, I think it's what they call absolute core clock. But I'm not sure about this. I'm not professional. I'm just showing you how I do it and how it works. Um, so we can already see here now we're running at 134, 124 uh, wattage here. Um, and this is what we're going to change here. So basically, we go to the curve editor and then we hold in shift. And then we take the first node here all the way to the left. And you just put it all the way down. And then what we do is we want the number 1245 for this particular card, the RTX 2060, 12 gigabyte as you can see here. Um, this number is going to be a little bit different to the other 2060. I think um, I came up with 1215 was better on the other 2060. And also, of course, if you have a 30 series card, this works. And also a 16 series card, it works. But the numbers are going to be different. You're going to have to find it out on your own because I don't have any of those cards. Um, but yeah, I've heard um, HiveOS has a forum page where they talk about the numbers, but I think it's a bit different between uh, doing this in MSI Afterburner and HiveOS, so I can't be sure, I can't really recommend you using those numbers, I don't really know how it works. Okay, but, but what you see here now is when I did this, you, it just turned like this. And basically it just, it looks like all I did was lower this, but it has a graph uh, showing me how it looks. But now um, we take this node, you just pull it up with our mouse. We just need to get a hold of it. There we go. And then we go to the number we want. So we want 1245. Let's find it. 1243 is sufficient. Then we just bam. And now this is what you call flattening out the curve. But as you see here, we didn't really get 1243. As it said, we got 1230. And um, what I do then is, because also this might not be actually totally flat. This might be a bit down or a bit up. I mean, this does work, but I want it to be uh, 
the most perfect I can make it. So what I do is I pull this up again to um, let's do 43 and then I press L. Basically you see the yellow line here it means it's locked and then we just apply. Now we'll see 12.45. Now we can also wait here and see. Um, I can wait for, there we go, a second update, 97. So it's almost um, the same megahertz as I could get in my last video, but of course last video it was on a riser, so no display connected at all, um, and no like weird background appliances running at the card. Um, but yeah, here we go, this is how you do it. Um, I hope this was somehow uh, comprehensive, um, I hope this helped you guys out there. Uh, and yeah, good luck overclocking, good luck mining, good luck gaming, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.